Hey folks, Nick Mock 007 here again, and I know there are some rumors going around that science left me. Well, the truth is I'm giving science the weekend off, so I'll have two more low-key videos out this week. Now, starting today with the mythical tank update that I've been promising. But don't worry, science is just spending the weekend with some of her old college roommates. We're not having any problems. She'll be back next weekend. But the nights sure are getting lonely around here in the meantime. So I've been promising this tank update for a long time. I'm going to try not to talk over this whole thing, but I'll tell you a bit about my tank, my plant choices, and point out some changes. Um, oh, and I threw in some outtakes at the end of this, so stick around if for no other reason than to laugh at my feeble acting attempts. Now, here is your chance to skip to the various points throughout the video so all you April fans get to clicking. Right, so back in February I had some stuff floating over on the left side, but otherwise in this shot you can see the basic layout. For the plants I'm using Hygro Compact, uh, Marsalea Minuta, Amania SP Bonsai, Blixo Japonica, um, a bit of Downoi, um, some Green Gecko Crips. Uh, for the moss, uh, it's a peacock moss. Got some S Repens, uh, some Rotala Rotundifolia, Ludwigia Cuba. Uh, the big grassy plant is the Cypress Helfry. And the back right hand corner is the Pogo Stamen Stellatus Broadleaf. Um, some Ludwigia on the left hand side. Um, and Alternathera Reineki mixed in with it. Uh, both of those give a little bit of red contrast to the tank. Now, I've been having a snail problem. Um, they've been chewing on my plants quite a bit, but in April I did end up picking, a hand, uh, picking up a handful of assassin snails, and so far I'm starting to see fewer and fewer snails, so hopefully the plants will start to look a little bit less beaten up here in the next few weeks. As I said, science was out of town this weekend, so uh, what better way to prevent wet sleeves than a little bit of aquascaping in the buff?
this was after a major trimming to the tank. Um, I pulled a ton of things out, I thinned out, replanted a lot of plants, and rehomed uh, quite a few others. I ended up selling the crowns of Downoy. It's a really cool plant, just wasn't working with my scape. And those scripts went out to Cam. As I mentioned, snails have been chewing on my plants, so cue the assassins. Uh, just home from the LFS with another plant I've been wanting to try, uh, a little bit of Amania gracilis. some shots from the top. Uh, this was before the trimming, and quite frankly, this is how you know when a major trimming is overdue. With this most recent update, I really did a heavy trimming of everything. I packed back the Rotala, um, and I trimmed it up all evenly because I was too lazy to stagger the cuts to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, also, I pulled out the Ludwigia, and um, I'm in the process of propagating the Alternathera Reineki. Um, I like the look of that plant a little bit better for this layout, um, so I think I'm going to stick with that for the reds. I also really thinned out the Blixa, cut back the Marsalea. Uh, and unfortunately the pogo stamen, uh, one of my favorite plants in this tank, it actually wasn't growing very well for me. So uh, I'm actually replacing that with the Amania gracilis from before. So we'll see how that one does for me. And here are some of my favorite angles of the tank. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching it. If you made it this far, uh, I'm sure a few brave souls will make it out uh, through the whole thing. Uh, coming up next, despite me having some second thoughts, uh, here are the outtakes. Back next weekend, but the nights sure are getting lonely around here in the meantime. Ah, uh, but the nights are getting lonely around here in the meantime. But the nights are getting lonely around here in the meantime.